Oh, there you are. I'm glad you could make it. Hello and welcome. I'm the Awful Chef. Bet you're hungry tonight. Let's make something to eat. Mm. So we've been partying and all that stuff and we've still got just too much leftovers. Just too much food. What do you do when you have too many leftovers? And you throw it on a tortilla, wrap it up, and call it dinner. That's not far from the truth. So, what do we got? Well, our big issue is um, leftover steak. Sliced thin. Yeah, I know. Big problem. Too much steak. Oh boy, poor me. Yeah, well, when you don't have a lot of people and you're trying to keep from wasting food, that you had a lot of fun enjoying the first time around, it can be a challenge. Okay. Especially if you make the leftovers better than the originals, which we can try. So, steak. We got some romaine lettuce, rinsed and spun dry. We got some chopped up little tomatoes. We got some chopped up little cucumbers. We got some bottled Caesar dressing. Why did I go with bottled Caesar? I was lazy. Can you make your own? Of course you can. Can you go with bottled? Yeah, if you're being lazy, go ahead. Parmesan. A little bit of diced green onion. Now, I like mine a little zippy, so um, let's make a balsamic dressing to go with this. You can have the Caesar, you can have the balsamic, if you're feeling schizophrenic, you can have them both. So this is going to surprise everybody. Fair amount of garlic chopped up in some olive oil with some salt. Gently chopped, not smashed. I am not making insect repellent. I am making salad dressing. Okay. What goes in a balsamic salad dressing? Balsamic vinegar. Which, of course, will not combine at all with anything in there. So we need a basic emulsifying agent. Which... Our friends in France came up with a few thousand years ago called French style mustard and what this will do is combine everything and give us a delightful gray and icky looking sauce because of balsamic vinegars black color and the yellow from both the olive oil and the mustard. So this is going to combine and look absolutely terrible if I can ever get the mustard off the fork. Live TV or live YouTube. We don't do cuts here. And yes, it is combining quite nicely. Joyfully, I cook for two, and I tend to um, spend a lot of time with the other person. So, tasting while cooking is not an issue in this house, and it is strongly recommended in yours. Hmm. A little wimpy. Needs a little bit of pepper. And I actually am going to throw in more balsamic vinegar. So, big questions. Flatbread. The eternal flatbread issue. Yes, I make jokes about using flour tortillas as the universal flatbread. Okay, there we are. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, so here you go. An entirely invisible salad dressing. You get some idea of the dark color, however. Okay. Mm. Nicely emulsified, very <coughs> mellow, but powerful notes of garlic. Oh. Allergy season, gotta love it. So. The Eternal Flour Tortilla. The Flatbread Extraordinaire. How do we convert that into a PD? I have a hot griddle pan. Now for this you really do want an olive oil dispenser. Okay, I need an exit plate. Yeah, you help me get to subscribers, I'll buy some camera equipment. You're going to love this, though. See, so basic flour tortilla. How exciting is that? Hot griddle pan. That's actually a little bit too hot. And this happens fast, so you want to be ready. Okay. Tortilla. Olive oil. Just use a spoon. Spread that little bit of oil out on the tortilla. And flip it. Flip it quick. Okay, you hear that? The oil is now frying the tortilla in spots. And our basic tortilla blanco, pardon my French, is now developing texture. Okay, let's flip that. You can see that doesn't look the same. Do you need a griddle pan for this? Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, you kind of do. Because the differences in, in contact create differences in cook. Otherwise, you just be frying tortillas, and that's good for a tostada. So here we go. So I'm going to do a few more of those. Serve those up with some steak, some salad, some dressing, some good stuff, and call it a night. So I am the awful chef. Please do that social media thing and subscribe. And that's it. PDs. Using um, uh, kind of a spotty fry on the tortillas to make real style flatbread. Thank you and goodbye.